What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction. So, we here with J.I.D. with his 31 freestyle. Now, he's done something like this before where it's a number and then he says freestyle because just last year or so, he did one that would, or a couple years ago, he did one called 29 and then freestyle. Then I'm pretty sure he did one last year called 30 freestyle and now with 31 and freestyle I just want to wonder with the whole number thing is that because of his age hold on because if so then probably next year it's probably gonna be 30 hold on let me see how old this man this man is nope he 33 so probably <laughs> so probably next year or so it's gonna be a 32 or whatever or regardless but either way hey one thing's for sure when it comes to some of my favorite rappers in like the hip hop and such, JID is definitely one of them. So, and a plus with the whole thing with J. Cole, Kendrick, and the Drake thing and such, <laughs> it's so crazy where J where people were saying about how JID would stick up for Cole for backing out of this whole thing. JID went like Nope, that ain't, I ain't him, <laughs> that's big, hey, and hey, that's respectable, he, not saying it, it's kind of, it, hey, all I'm gonna say is J.I.D. stand on his business, stand on business on him, saying that nah, I ain't him, <laughs> so, we better check this out, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, follow me on my socials up there, and, without further ado, let's get it. That Negro, y'all and all better get right. And this time, the time is good, cause it might not be no next time. Taxi dreadlock, nest monster, smoking ganja. Money man hopping up vans, we will sponsor. Gun in hand, I ain't threatening, cause it's a promise. Gonna blam, you will take another out of college. Come in, step outside, it's all violence. I should resurrect Abe and get slavery abolished. I should be able to pay. I should resurrect Abe and get slavery abolished. I mean, well, technically, slavery already was abolished, but knowing how he's talking about how, even so, with the way how black people have still been treated, even so, with slavery being abolished, <laughs> hey, it's still crazy that how most people still want to view black people and such, and not just black people, anybody, any minority out there in general. But hold up. <laughs> It's so crazy that even though he the location is shot in Saudi Arabia, the damn t titles is in. Hold on, let me see if the lyrics actually. Well, it does, but shit. <laughs> Cause I was wondering why the sub the one of the comments was saying the fact that this is in subtitle. The subtitles are in Arab, Arab. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> crazy, but yeah. Okay. Will sponsor, gun in hand, I ain't threatening it cause it's a promise Gonna blame you, take another out of college Come in, step outside, it's all violence I should resurrect Abe and get slavery abolished I scribble a page, Cole got the Ableton knocking I'm feeling the way you put it away I'm feeling the way you're blocking Niggas knocking and I know the block is watching You a prophet or you only out for profit Running face it You only a prophet but you out for profit Mmm, <laughs> talk about them false prophets out there. Hey, you know what? Let me let me take off the comments because <laughs> it ain't gonna do me no well. But hey, one thing with JID, that man comes with. He's like that. He's what other people like, where it's the righteous and ratchet, where you get both sides of somebody, where you get the righteous mind of them, but you also get the raunchiness, like the just them being them type of thing and such where they know certain shit is wrong they know certain shit is wrong or they try to put you on game about something but also at the same time if you mess with them they gonna tell you it is what they gonna tell you what's up with it <laughs> they gonna challenge you right then and there and hey I ain't gonna cap that's to me the perfect mixture of music where you can give me knowledge of something but don't get it twisted where I can really F you up if you try to mess with me the wrong way. Niggas knocking and I know the block is watching. You a profit or you only out for profit. Running face, sipping water out the front of my adolescent days without a penny out of pocket. Out the circuit, out the socket, my plug speaking the language of drugs is jaw dropping, locking. Got me feeling like pocket is the apocalypse. It's own politics with the policies of the parliament. Part in G, part 
it, my niggas coming from all sides. Place your top five in the archives. Besides all the rap guys, find it. Place your top five in the archives? Mmm, saying that nigga, your top five is just back there. They ain't shit. <laughs> in a way, to me, that's how I get it. Y'all can let me know, because I know that a lot of y'all going to say, Oh, why you keep on... Nick, first of all, this is a two-minute cypher. I mean, not cypher. Freestyle. Minute 59 cy cy I keep on saying cypher. Freestyle. <laughs> y'all always... Whenever I see comments that want to be ignorant, it gets me flustered and such. But yeah. And yes, if I pause, nigga, we got a mi we got a minute and fifty nine. I be saying it a lot. Where when it comes to certain songs or freestyles, it be either at two minutes or under three minutes. So if I'm gonna stretch this bitch out, I'm gonna stretch this bitch out. No diddy, <laughs> but no freaky either. <laughs> But you know what I mean. language of drugs is jaw drop and lock it. Got me feeling like pocket is the apocalypse and on politic with the policies of the parliament. Part in G, part of my niggas coming from all sides. Place your top five in the archive. Besides all the rap guys finding another rap addict to ride. Bunch of sperm bank workers, they all been drinking on the job. Oh God. He said, hold on, what you said? Another rap addict to ride. Bunch of sperm. Run back. Five in the archive. Besides all the rap guys finding another rap addict to ride. Bunch of sperm. Finding all the rap guys, finding another D to ride. <laughs> Who he talking about? <laughs> all the rap guys finding another rapper D to ride. Bunch of sperm bank workers, they all been drinking on the job. Oh God, mm -hmm. try to offer him time for a peace of mind, but now I gotta grab my piece for a nigga trying to leave with a peace of mind. Uh, mm -hmm. I got the blinds up, minding my business, cause I ain't got the time, minding my business. I got a business mind, monitor how that clock ticking. I'm trying to monetize seconds and minutes and a dollar sign. Throwing the peace sign, putting a pinky, now it's the east side. Mm. That's what I'm saying. With JLD, he just knows. It's like, it's like this. With nowadays how lyrics are, it's not like a Eminem or... What I'm trying to, and trust me, don't get me wrong, Eminem is still fire. This, there will be no Eminem slander coming from me whatsoever. And if you are still slandering on Eminem, you are goofy. And I don't care how you feel about me saying that. You is. But what I'm trying to say is where with certain lyrics, like a, with, with the modern day type of lyrics, like a J.I.D. or Ski Master Slump God, they don't have to fit the type of lyrics where it has to be like a hoodie, no chains and whatnot. Because nowadays, lyricists like a J.I.D. or Ski Mask can still spit some fire ass bars at you, but in their own way. So, hey, shout out to J.I.D., man. Because, <laughs> hey, he was saying that he, because I was hearing that he was taking certain shots of somebody. Who he taking shots at? I want to know. You let me know. <laughs> but, hey, man, shout out to J.I.D., man, because, like I say, with him, he's one of those, like, lyricists where he makes sure he mixers the righteous and ratchet and I kind of like that and such because not every rapper got to be one particular thing or talk about one particular thing because to me that's sh that means your music is just mid not even if it's trash it's just mid 
because if you're just going to talk about one particular thing all the time in your music, then yeah, I'm sorry, I can't. It is what it. I'm not even. I don't care if people call you fire and whatnot. Me personally, you ain't that all to me. Because if that's the only thing you're going to be talking throughout your entire music, I'm good. But hey, shout out to JID. Shout out to. <laughs> Shout out to Dream Villain Search and Crazy Enough. Hey, Cole did say JID is next, and with the way how currently how hip hop is going, shit. I wouldn't expect JID. I would expect JID to keep on stepping on niggas' necks and such. But either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. What y'all thought? Did JID take shots at certain people? I mean, <laughs> he did say, I could say I'm better than. But niggas already know. I wonder who he was talking about. But either way, it's been your boy Homer Ziggy signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. I'm out.